Hey everyone, today we are going to talk about time scaling of discrete time signals. Time scaling can either be time expansion or time compression. To achieve time scaling of a discrete time signal x of n, we simply replace n by a n. Okay? Mathematically, this can be expressed as y of n is equal to x of a n. This is how we can represent time scaling of a discrete time signal. Fine. When a is greater than 1, it is called time compression and when a is smaller than 1, it is called time expansion. Okay. This a. If it is greater than 1, then we usually call it as time expression sorry time compression and when it is smaller than 1 then it is called as time expansion hope this much is clear to you fine let's take the sequence x of n shown in this figure as an example so what i'm going to do here is this is my example now suppose if a is equal to 2 so if a is equal to 2 then what will be the y of n y of n is equal to what x of a n right so it will become x of 2 n right so x of n plot is this so how can you plot the graph for y of n which is basically x of 2 n so here if you see a is greater than 1 right so you will get time compression version time compression version of x of n okay so now let's solve this so if i will check at y is equal to 0 y of 0 means y of 0 then it will give you x of 0 right so you will get 1 now at n is equal to minus 1 what is the value of y so y of minus 1 is equal to x of 2 into minus 1 will become minus 2 okay now I am checking for y of minus 2 so this is equal to x of 2 into minus 2 so 2 into minus 2 will become what minus 4 so what is the value of x of minus 2 which is 3 what is the value of x of minus 4 it is 0 so put 0 if you go further you will get 0 only at y of minus 3, y of minus 4, you will get 0 only. Now, let's go to the positive side. So, y of 1 is equal to what? x of 2 into 1, that is 2. So, what is the value of x of 2? That is 3. So, right here 3. Now, y of 2 is equal to x of 2 into 2, that is what? 4. So, this will become what? x of 4 what is the value 0 so 0 now if you go further you will get the same 0 0 everywhere so if you see this signal new signal it is having value at y of 0 y of minus 1 y of 1 and y of yeah that's all other places the value is what 0 so if you plot the graph for this it will look something like this see it will look something like this so earlier the signal was defined for the time instant this much now it is compressed right now it is compressed if you see the original graph and if you see this graph this is what the time compression so now the value is defined at n is equal to 0 which is 1 n is equal to 1 which is 3 n is equal to minus 1 which is what 3 again here so this is what the time compression right so let me explain you the real time example for time compression fine so for instance a 10 minute video played at so in youtube we have videos right so for instance a 10 minutes video if you play at 1x speed or you can say 100 percent speed so it will take 10 minutes to finish right but if we play same video at 2x speed or you are 200% of speed then 
you can complete this video in five minutes only five minutes only right so this phenomena can be likened to time compression as the same content is presenting it to the viewers at different rates okay so this is what you can say it like a time compression so what is the shortcut way to do this so shortcut way is let's go to the original signal once again so what is given you have to calculate x of 2n right so simply divide this instance by 2 instance by 2 okay now what you have to do pick only the discrete points not the fraction one okay so if you see 1 by 2 will give you a fraction that is 0 0.5 so ignore this so ignore such values only pick the discrete values so if you see discrete so 2 divided by 2 1 minus 2 divided by 2 1 this will give you 0 0.5 so ignore this the amplitude will become 0 here here also it will become 0 so 4 by 2 that is 2 it is already 0 so this is how you can do and you will get a same graph in this case also i hope this thing is clear to you fine so here what happened is here the signal is here the signal is compressed by is compressed by 2 okay so this is what time compression now let's go for the next example suppose if a is what 1 by 2 then y of n will become what x of n by 2 am i right x of n by 2 now calculate the point so y of 0 so x of 0 divided by 2 that is basically x of 0 only so what was the value at x of 0 earlier it was 1 so 1 now if you go for y of 1 so what will happen y of 1 x of 1 by 2 means x of 0 0.5 so we can't consider this right what is the reason because we don't have any value in between the sampling instants so this is between the two sampling instants that is 0 and 1 so it is not defined in case of discrete time signals so that is why we are ignoring this so you have to ignore all odd components because in all odd components you will get this type of thing in this example so only consider the even component so y of 2 is equal to what x of 2 divided by 2 1 so you will get what 2 here now y of 4 that is x of 4 divided by 2 2 so you will get 3 here now y of 6 equal to x of 6 divided by 2 you will get what 3 here so x of 3 will what 4 now y of 8 if you go so you will get x of 8 divided by 2 that is 4 which is basically 0 if you go further you will get 0 only so let's go to the negative side so y of minus 2 x of minus 1 you will get so the value is what 2 now y is equal to what y is equal to minus 4 so x of minus 2 you will get 3 now y is equal to minus 6 so minus 6 divided by 2 you will get x of minus 3 that is 4 y is equal y of minus 8 you will get y x of minus 4 that is 0 if you go further you will get 0 only right so this is how you will get so here if you draw the diagram for this so what will happen you will get something like this so if you see this is what time expansion expansion right so the value that you are getting at n is equal to 1 now the same value you are getting at n is equal to 2 fine so it got expanded right so here what happened is here the signal is expanded by 2 
okay so that is how functionally you solve now time scaling is very helpful when data is to be fed at some rate and is to be taken out at a different rate now shortcut way shortcut way is simple this is your original what x of n now you want to calculate x of n divided by 2 you have to do nothing just multiply it by 2 because it is n by 2 multiply it by 2 that's all into 2 into 2 so the value that you are getting at n is equal to 1 now you will get at 2 into 1 that is at 2 same you will get the same graph now 2 into 2 4 at 4 you will get 3 2 into 3 6 so at 6 you will get this same right so this is what a shortcut this is how you can solve this particular question so an example for this is what Consider a scenario where a video of 10 minutes duration is being played, okay? When played at 1x speed, it will take 10 minutes to finish, right? 10 minutes to complete, okay? Conversely, when played at 0.5x of speed or half of the speed, it will take how many minutes? 20 minutes to complete, 20 minutes to complete. So it is like what? time expansion only fine so this is all about the time scaling of a discrete time signal so if you like our video please subscribe to our youtube channel if you have any doubt kindly reach out in the comment section don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel thanks for watching